Micah Frankel, Cage Minds, welcoming in right now, LFA 57 headliner, Yusef Zalal. I feel like I just talked to you, man. How you doing? <laughs> pretty good, man. How about you? Doing pretty good, doing pretty good. How you feeling? Fight week, getting off the year, staying busy? Yeah, man. Uh, it's, it's being healthy, you know, the main thing to focus on, you know, and then being relaxed and patient for the fight. Seen you in LFA a couple times. Did you expect that this next one was going to be a main event status for you? Uh, they were talking about, when I was in Minnesota, they were talking about co main and main, but I really didn't know I, uh, I was going to be the main event, so that was, that was brand new to me. But again, I was, I was, I was ready for these moments, you know? Being ready for these moments... Did was there any extra emotion when you found out it was here that you're getting that step, getting that main event showcase? Uh, obviously, it's, it's a hometown, so I mean the guy trained in Colorado as well, so it's not, not a crazy big advantage. I mean it's it, it is what it is. It's a it's a great opportunity for me, and especially at a hometown, so all the people and all the family get to actually see this one live. So that's that that brings extra ex, makes it extra special, you know. Jose Mariscal, the opponent. How 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 much have you heard his name? You guys coming up in that same area. To be honest, man, I, I thought he still trains in like Chicago or uh, New Mexico, actually. But I found out he trains with uh, he was training here for a while, so I didn't I didn't know that. But he, he, he's a he's a he's a, he's a vet man. Like he's he's, he's very experienced. He's a the great matchup for me. I feel like. What are those advantages? What makes it such a good matchup for you? To be honest, I don't think he ever he ever seen the the movement and the 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 complete MMA game that I bring to the to the to the plate. I don't think he ever seen that. What do you see that he does well, though? What do you think he does po- on the positive side of his game? Uh, he's, he's very is a very patient fighter. Uh, he knows he knows how to break down uh, his opponents. So, of course, I, I just I gotta be ready for that one. But he's he's, he's just experienced. He comes to the experience. All the high level guys he fought. You know, it's, uh, all his losses have been to the UFC guy. So he fought he fought a lot of experienced guys. So I'm uh, I'm pretty excited to see what he's gonna bring to the table. You said he has a great amount of patience. So, do you think that's the kind of fight it's going to be? It's going to be more of a a slower pace thing where you guys are tit for tack, waiting for somebody to mess up? Uh, no, I 100 percent guarantee that's not going to happen. I think it's 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 it's, it's going to be it's going to be a fireworks. I guarantee you that. But it's not. It's it's going to be smart. Obviously, I'm uh, I love fighting smart. It's not because I want to get there and get out. You know, it's, it's the name of the game. It's the hit and not get hit. So that's the name of the game for me. But in the end of the day, I, I know um, it's 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 a bigger it's a bigger fight. What everybody hypes it up about, you know, it's I'm just not being in a fight. If if you want to to bang, we'll see. But if you want to, if you want it to be smart, we'll see. So it's just, it's just we just gotta see what would happen. Being healthy is that part of how you're able to to fight on back to back LFA cards? I mean. Their little break of, I believe, about four weeks is your little break to prepare for this fight of four weeks. Uh, I 100% agree. Uh, 100% agree. For me, it, it's all about health, uh, obviously, but, you know, camps, camps are rough. Camps are not, are not an easy thing in the world, but it's, it's, I love it, man. This is, this, this is what I love to do. It's, uh, it's my life, but at the end of the day, it's, I try to stay as much active as I can, especially I'm at a young age, you know, twenty three years old. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to get there as quick as possible, you know. Do you feel too much of a rush or is it feeling that it's your time? No man, I'm not I'm never sure. Like to be honest, it's not all the hard work is done and all that, so it's it's never a rush for me. It's all about going out there and just doing me. That's it. I don't I love what I do, so it's it's not it's never a rush for me. When did you figure out that that you loved this so much that this was going to be your passion? Uh, actually, pro debut, man. Pro debut was uh, was uh, was a big uh, opening for me. It was a big eye opening for me. I really kind of 
realized like this this is what I love to do and this is what I love being. So and since then, I mean, I, it's been it's been a hell of a journey, man. It's been it's been an amazing journey, and I'm we still we still pushing pushing more journeys coming, you know. And I know you have a bigger plan. And real quick, before I got a point, I want to wish you congratulations. I think I saw this week Factory Acts put out their uh, 2019 team captains, and you were a part of that grouping. <laughs> yeah, man, it's uh, it's uh, we, the the team is getting bigger, so we had uh, six guys this time. Uh, but I, it, it's it's a great opportunity for me to uh, to help these guys succeed at the at the highest level or the lowest level. It doesn't really matter, and then it helps me as well. It helps me as a person, and it helps me as a fighter. How much confidence does that instill in you? Seeing the kind of confidence that the team has in you, putting you in this kind of a position. I mean, the team believes in me the same way I believe in myself. You know, it's. Uh, I won't pack that confidence along uh, if they don't trust me. You know, they don't trust my my confidence and all that. It's not like I just I just act like I'm confident and not go out there and not do the job. You know, like it's all the it's like it's energy. It's 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 effectiveness. You know, you pass it through to everybody. So if you're confident, a lot of your a lot of your fighters or teammates and a lot of them, most of them, are gonna be confident because they they hang out with you and do all that. So that's that's the main goal for me. Show me your threats. I'll show you your future. I want to say that when I saw you guys up at LFA 39, the team had four representatives, and that felt like a lot, but that fails to, in comparison to how many are on this card. There's like seven or eight people, I think, in all that are competing at this LFA card? Uh, eight people. Eight people. What is that like in the gym with eight of you guys focusing towards one day and kind of on the same timeline? Man, it's it's crazy. We're gonna have like half of the team in the corner and all that. So that that's kind of like it's a, it's it's a great energy to be honest. It's, everybody's focused on their fight, so it brings the energy up in the gym. With that energy, with that intensity, it's kind of also a bonding a bonding process, right? Yeah, hundred percent. Everybody motivates each other in, in flying and training and all that because they see you busting your ass off and working working super hard for for the same fight as, as he's working, you know? It's not like but it's no difference, you know, both of us have a fight. It does not mean I am the main event does not mean I'm different. It's not. It's the same fight, fight, fight. It, it's a fight in the end of the day. We get to fight. Looking at your fight how do you how do you think this plays out? You said already that you think it's going to be fast and explosive. How do you feel that you get the finish in this one? I really feel like uh, me dragging him to the second third round. It's, it's kind of it's kind of wear up on him, but I mean, like I said, it's it's a fight again. But I I know I will get a finish. But uh, I don't know what round. Uh, to be honest, I don't I don't really don't say rounds. I don't care about rounds. I know I will finish the fight, but. Here's the, like I said, man, it's, it's going to be a, a smart fight in my end, and I know it's going to be a very explosive fight in his end. So, and we'll see what he wins. Maybe, maybe I could be wrong, but we'll see. There's been a lot of big things happening in your fight career. Right now, what's the next step after this fight, the next step in the master plan that you have? Man, I don't, I really, like I said, I'm, like I said in any, every interview, 2019, I will be in the UFC. And that—that's not a a plan or a proclam proclamation. That's just what you believe is going to happen, right? Yes, and mark my words. I said it here. Mark my words. I will be in the UFC in 2019. Big things coming. Want to talk about influences. Who's some of those guys that have been the biggest influences on your career and helping Yusef Zalel to get where he is as a martial artist? Man, my, uh, there's one of the people I gotta, I gotta thank. First of all, is my, my wife's cat, man. She's been, she's been very, very supportive and very helpful for, through my, throughout my camp. You know, cooking and all this and that and helping my recovery wise and all that. So I, 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 I can't thank her enough. And obviously, my, my, my coaches at Factory X, man, they've been, they've been nothing but, but great to me and helping me so much and helping me in life, not just fighting, in life in general. So that was, that was a, a great, great 
move. I did my part to go to Factory Act and meet Matt Pantoria and all those guys. So that's, I can't thank him enough, man. I really can't thank him enough. And my family, man. My family, it's been, it's been, it's been amazing to me. You know, they've been supporting me since, since the beginning. So even, even though they, they didn't think my, this was going to be it, but they know this is it. This is, it. this is what I have. And so they, they really support me and cheering for me and I can hear them yelling and all that. So that was, uh, it's, it's, it's awesome. Having had that determination from the times I've talked to you, we have know how determined you are and how set you are in your goals. But what was that like with those other people that were close to you, the, the spouse, the parents, also getting your back and, and seeing that that grander picture that you have too? Man, it just motivates some more, to be honest. Like I, I know my wife gets out a lot from me. She, she just wants, is more motivated to do the same thing but different the different jobs you know it's, I don't call I don't call fighting a job for me I just love it you know it, it's my life like I, it, I I love this thing like, so much but in the end of the day if they see they see me doing my thing and they they want to get there you know they want to be the same what I'm at and doing my goals set up my goals and do everything that I do every morning every night and all that so they setting up goals and makes them better better as a person and better in life have you always kind of been goal oriented? No, man. Everything changed. I don't know why everything changed until the pro debut. So that was uh, that was everything really changed then. So you also gained that fashion sense all of a sudden. Yeah, I, it, it really when it, when it hit me when it's all professional and all that. That's when it, it really hit me, you know. And that was the the philosophy change. It became. A professional, uh, the professionalism. But I know that you have an image and everything for how you want to portray and how you want to lead. So where did you getting your plan come from together? When did that come in the process? Well, to be honest, it's it's, it's from my brother who passed away, man. You know, it's it, it, that was the darkest moment of my life. You know, I was for three months. I was I was in the darkest moments of my life. You know, I was I was so down. I was I was all this and. I almost tried to commit suicide and all this, but I'm, that's why I'm grateful for for my wife. Cat kind of just got me out of got me out of this, uh, my my dark my dark side, you know, and kind of just got me to just enjoy life, you know, and that's that's her, that's my my motto, you know. Just in, I'm enjoying life, man. I'm doing I'm doing everything that I can just to enjoy my life and, and do what I love. Especially somebody in your position on the cusp of superstardom. That's what we all talk about. Yusuf Zalel is going to be one of those breakout guys for 2019. How important is it for you to also talk about like the mental health, to, to be a role model in this martial arts community? 100%, man. Uh, I, have, I, have, I have the whole country back home. You know, it, 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 it's not people in the country back home staying up all the way at 4 a.m. just to watch me fight because... The time difference, so it it it's amazing to me, man. I just I just keep doing my thing, and I, I everybody will we get along, you know, and everybody will follow follow the train. And what would your message for those people be? You were, as you said, in a dark place. What would your message for people that are that are kind of down in the dumps, down in their luck, be? Like I said it again, man, you can do anything in this world. Obviously, everybody says that, but. Again, it's what you tell to yourself. It's not. It's not what people tell about you. It's what you tell to, uh, about yourself, and that's what makes makes difference in this world and makes you different as a person. If you telling yourself, "I am this, I am that, I am this, and I'm doing that," I guarantee you, life will be a lot better. I mean, you got to learn how to how to kind of go with the problems. Don't don't let the problems uh, affect you so much. I mean, it's life. You know, you always have problems, but it's the way it's the way you treat them. It's it's the way. You, you treat your life, and that, that's that's a big key for them, and I'll, I'll give that message to you. It's about, it's about you. It's what you say to yourself. We got LFA 57 coming up. I have dogs outside barking like crazy for some reason outside my office. <laughs> <laughs> they want to be in the interview, too. So they, they, they just want to be heard also. Was there enough time in between these fights for you to feel that you grew up, that you grew more? Man, I grow every day, uh, especially at Factory X. Man, I 
I really do go uh, go every day training there. So it it doesn't matter for me if you give me a week or four weeks or ten weeks. It does not matter. I find two hours notice. That, so it really don't really don't matter to me. It it my growth is is my my own my own personal goal that I'm, I'm setting. I'm focused on. I'm suited to the game. You know, I'm I'm just I'm just here to learn. But I'm here to learn and go fight. That's it. the holidays having just happened and everything, were you able to take some time, enjoy it, look, reflect on the year? 100%. I've still had some uh, days out there, to, uh, of course, hanging out with the family and all that, but at the end of the day, it's, uh, I, still, I still training and doing all that. I have to do my, my job, you know, go out there and train and do all that stuff, so it was not really crazy effective on me, to be honest. We know it's getting that name, the face on the post, you're taking that step up, being in the main event, do you attack this just like it's another fight? Do you attack this moment like you've been in the ring as you have many times before? To be honest, man, I don't care about the main event, I don't care about the hype, I don't care about all oh, the superstar, this, this, that. I don't, I don't, I can care less about it, man. I, I'm just doing my, my, what I do, you know, I'm just doing, I'm just going out there and do what I, what I love to do, I don't care if it's main event, I don't care if it's first fight, it don't matter to me, I'm just going out there and, and fight, impress myself, and everybody else will be impressed. Well, okay, then on a different aspect, what is the last thing that Yusuf Salel's thinking before he makes that walk to the cage? It's time, it's, it's time to have fun, that's, that's, uh, that's what I'll focus on, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm just, me, I'm just like, ain't nobody uh, on my level, and I, I know I can go right there and do whatever I want. How do you assess things then when a fight starts off, having that whatever I want kind of mentality? Is it is it a fast process kind of deciding what you're going to go to, how you want to test the foe? Uh, not really, man. It's, it's, it's fighting, so you can't think in fighting. You really can't think. If you think you're, you're in deep problems, but... I let the coaches think for me, and I just go out there and just, just, just go with the flow. You know what they say, be water. Be water like Bruce Lee said. I, I just be water. I don't, I don't try to think, oh, like, oh I got to hit him with this. I, gotta, I don't. I, I can hit him with anything I want. It just matters of actually, yeah, actually going out there and doing it. So that's it's all that matters. It's always fun getting to talk to you, Seth Zawal. Sir, who do you got to thank? Who do you got to shout out to? Well, thank you, man, for having me. Appreciate it, man. Uh... Shout out to my, my, my Gym Factory X, man, and Landau Performance, the, the head coaches, Augie uh, for Landau Performance, and Mark Montoya for Factory X. All my sponsors, man, they they know who they are. I, I appreciate them so much. They, they've, been, they've been supporting me, especially this fight, so I, be, I really appreciate them. And then that's pretty much it, man. Awesome, sir. Everybody can't be there live. Access TV this Friday night. LFA 57. Yes, sir.